decided I would go on and do a little bit more. And so what I've done is I've put some uh, sort of blocks on the side there. And uh, I put a spotlight here. And I put a spotlight in behind here. And here I have a volume, this cube here. And uh, what I've done, let's just have a look at the shading if we can. These are my settings for this principled volume brought into the material I'll put volume and my density I played around with that a little bit and um, I put some no a noise texture on there coming out of the object and played around with the values and put a color ramp there just to break up the uh, the fog I decided I'd try it with uh, some some fog uh, in there so I'll show you that in a second and uh, I also just dented up this garbage can a little bit and I changed actually the signs as well because open 24 7 some people were saying yeah but it looks like everything's closed down so um, so that's what I've got and the final image that I've come up with is is this one that's my you know one of my more favorite uh, images here so I changed that to auto parts I changed this one too but it's not visible in this render that's 87 percent you also notice I did something on the floor I just threw in a uh, a, uh, a blender uh, brick texture made them tiles just to just to see what that would look like here but so I got a spotlight coming down here and I got some light over there and some and over here so I think it it, it does look more moody certainly uh, with with the fog and it's quite a bit of it but uh, this is an enclosed space so the fog would kind of be stuck in there somebody suggested I do some steam coming out of a pipe and that was a neat idea but anyways, that's just to contrast with what I showed uh, previously. Um, a, a, one or two other things I, I will show you. Um, on my camera, uh, I, I have played around with the value since I took that render. But uh, as far as I know, was this camera, I was at about 15 millimeters for my focal length. And I did play around with the depth of field uh, a little bit, even though I sort of said that I wouldn't. I did. I did that on both cameras, and I took a few renders and chose one that I thought was my favorite. So, uh, so that ends up being here with uh, with some post processing as well. So it's a pretty dark scene, but uh, I think it gets across uh, what I was pretty much hoping to. Again, without without you know really the the damage that we talked about last time. So I'm going to wrap it up at that. I do appreciate all your comments and sort of the encouragement to go on and, and do the fog. And that, that really did uh, bring it up a notch, I think, in terms of the atmosphere for the, uh, so for the image. Uh, I'm going to go on and experiment a little bit with tiles and stuff. I told you that in, the, in my last video. I want to have a closer look at uh, doing tiles in Substance Painter and some different varieties of them, different patterns, and 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 maybe even trying to replicate some of that in Blender uh, as well. And so, you know, we're going to be looking at wall components and eventually I'm going to do look at more, you know, concrete and, and you know, kind of dungeon stones and, and stuff like that. So that's what's probably coming up along with some beginner tutorials, uh, some basic modeling stuff for people that want to do that. And we'll keep uh, we we'll keep going down this road. All right. So thanks, thanks for coming by and checking this one up. I hope you I hope you think it's a little bit of an improvement, and uh, we'll see you again soon.